Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get potentially three times faster rendering speeds in Adobe After Effects. So if you like editing faster, hit the like button and let's jump into it. So not wasting any time, you want faster rendering speeds? All you have to do is go to your Creative Cloud subscription and download After Effects Beta. Sadly, this is only available to those with a Creative Cloud subscription, so if you're holding on to an outright purchase of CS6 or earlier, I don't want to give you any false hope. But if you do have a Creative Cloud subscription, you can just for free download After Effects Beta where multi-frame rendering has recently been added as a feature. There's no extra steps that you have to do. Multi-frame rendering is just there by default whenever you hit render. So basically, in a nutshell, what multi-frame rendering actually is, is just a more optimized way of rendering out your project. So having things like additional CPU cores, more RAM of available, or even a faster, more powerful graphics card are all going to lend itself to being able to push through the same render a lot faster. So basically, the more powerful your computer is, the faster your renders are going to be because After Effects is going to be taking advantage of every piece of computing power that it possibly can. So to test this out, I'm going to be opening up a pretty intense project file in the beta version of After Effects by right clicking on the project file and opening it with After Effects beta. From here, all you have to do is render your project and you should be able to see incredible speed improvement. Improvements. How much of a difference? Well, as an example, I exported three different projects, both in After Effects and After Effects Beta, and these are the results that I got. In the best case scenario, my render was able to be done 1.5 times faster. That's insane, that's so good without having to do anything, no upgrading my computer, no downloading extra third-party software, just downloading the beta version of Adobe After Effects. What was surprising to me though is that my MacBook Pro actually experienced a greater benefit than my desktop when switching over to render in the beta version. But your experience may differ depending on your computer and the types of projects you're trying to render. Now, based off of Adobe's release notes, it sounds like there'll be tweaks and changes that happen over time, but they do claim that depending on your computer setup, you might experience anywhere up to three times faster rendering speeds. Now, here's the catch. You've always got to be careful with beta projects because they're always more likely to succumb to things like glitches and crashes. Remember, After Effects beta is literally the testing ground for things that are going to be going into later versions of Adobe After Effects. So here's my personal method for how I'm going to be using this feature. I'm not going to be doing any of my editing inside of Adobe After Effects beta. Instead, I'd suggest to do all of your work inside of the regular version of Adobe After Effects. Then, once all your work is done and ready to render and export, then open that same project back up inside of Adobe After Effects Beta. To do this, like I mentioned before, just go to that same project file and right click and open it up inside of Adobe After Effects Beta. Your project will be exactly the same, but only now you can take advantage of that faster rendering process. This way you get the greater stability of using the normal version of After Effects, but you still get to take advantage of that faster rendering speed inside of the beta version. Eventually, multi-frame rendering will make its way into the normal version of After Effects, but until that time comes, I'm still really happy that we have this workaround option to get our renders done a lot faster. And all of us over at Motion Array are super excited about this announcement because it means that whenever you use one of our Adobe After Effects templates, you'll be able to render and export and show off your work a whole lot faster. So if you're interested in any of those, feel free to check out our entire marketplace full of amazing After Effects templates. But guys, that's just been a quick look at a way to boost your rendering speeds inside of After Effects. And if you guys liked this news update style video, please let me know that you liked it by subscribing and click the bell icon to never miss when I post. And if you guys wanted to see anything else, let me know what you're interested in seeing next by leaving a comment down below. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.